welcome back to Chi's channel. This is the look where I've kept the focus point as the lips. You can see in uh, runways, makeup artist uses, uh, sometimes the makeup artist uses the lips as the talking point where the eyes is really soft and the lips is really bold. One of the colors that I've used on the eyes are very, very soft to, you know, help the lips to be the focus point, which is a really bright froze lips. So, hope you guys like the tutorial. As usual, I'm going to start with my NYX eyeshadow base and skin tone. And I'm going to apply this all over my eyes. My upper and lower lid. I wanted to share with you all a um, really bad experience I had yesterday with a parlor. And before that, I'm gonna apply this Nivea Pretty Shine in Cherry. It just feels so dry. The first eyeshadow that I'm gonna use is from Bordura. It is um, called Rose Temptation. And it's a beautiful pink, it's like a duochrome eyeshadow. I just feel it looks like a sugary pink color, it looks very pretty. I wanted to talk about a bad experience I had with Apala. Apply this, you know, on, on your lid and also on the crease. So the Apala is called Studio Profile. It is... Um, you know, I had really good experience with this parlor because um, I had a haircut once from this parlor. It was done by a guy named, uh, I really forgot his name. He has a really different name. I keep forgetting his name. I got a beautiful haircut uh, from that guy. So I got a really positive experience uh, from then on. And I used to go back for blow drying and all that. Uh, you know, I wanted to have a fringe cut. Okay, so I mean a trim. I had my fringe grown till here, so I wanted a trim. So what happened is the lady I told her that I wanted a diagonal trim like this. So my hair was here, I wanted kind of like this here. And I don't know what she got, uh, what she understood. She trimmed because they wet the hair and trim we really don't know what they're doing she was actually holding her hand you know diagonal and trimming so i thought it was diagonal and then when she dried my hair it was straight okay and i, and I oh my god i was so pissed off and a lady who was watching all this um you know who was working there came and uh, you know i figured what you talking about and she cut which was here she cut it like this I just freaked out what the heck is happening here <laughs> oh my god then I just got so frustrated I told them this is it I'm not going to do this parlor anymore thank you so much this happened in Ariyar in Chennai where I live um, in in Ariyar branch uh, studio profile and <laughs> You know, I just didn't want to go again. I'm done. Next eyeshadow that I'm going to use is from MAC. It's from the Extra Dimension eyeshadow, which is called Sweet Heat. This is a beautiful vanilla color eyeshadow. And I'm going to apply it on the inner corners of my eye. So I'm going to use this angle brush from ELF. And it really brightens the eye. This is a full, the, the eye makeup is, you know, fully light, there's no dark colors used. Well, I have used very, a dark color for the crease, I will be using that, but it's mostly light. It's just complete light color. I'm going on the top. Top. 
I know this cannot be used as an everyday makeup look. It's just a fun look that you know can be done on runways and fashion magazines. Just a nice um, this eyeshadow that I'm gonna use is from uh, Wet n Wild. This is called Knock on Wood. This is a beautiful neutral pink palette that you can use. I'm gonna use this color here, which is a warm pink. I'm gonna use very, very lightly just to warm my crease a little bit. You know, just for definition, not much at all. Next, I'm gonna use this Lancome Quad, which is called Ober Absolute. Absolute. I guess that's what it's called and I'm gonna use this um, color as my highlight color I'm, I'm using this cupcake cutie blender brush to apply my highlight make sure you blend it with the crease color also the eye makeup is done I have a lot of fallouts on my lashes so I'm gonna use this ELF wet Gloss um, Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. I'm going to use this eyelash side and I'm just going to run through my lashes. This is just to clear the lashes if there are any fallouts. This is, you know, not used for mascara purposes. I mean, I don't use it for mascara purposes. You can clear even your bottom lashes if you have anything left and any fallout. And now it's eyelining time. I'm going to use this Revlon Color Stay Liquid Pen. And I'm going to line my eyes in winged liner style. As usual, you know, thin in the inner corners and thin in the inner corners at the outer corners. Next I'm going to take the same underneath my eyes but just you know in the outer corners only. I really like you know just doing the outer corners. Next I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm going to use my favorite Falling Glamour Max Definition Mascara. Next, I'm gonna apply these fake lashes from Alior Cosmetics, which is called Nicola. And I'm gonna apply this using Devota, so I'll do that and come back. So the eyes are done next onto the cheeks. I'm gonna use from Milani. This is a mineral blush from Mai Tai, and it's a beautiful peachy pink blush color. I'm gonna apply this using Sigma F40. So now to the main portion of the video which is the lips. So I'm going to line my lips using NYX Fuchsia uh, Lip Liner. This is not exactly like, you know, the rose lips that I, lipstick that I'm going to wear but it's kind of close to, you know, the lip liners from what I have. So I'm going to use two lipstick colors for this one from LA Girl, the cream lipstick section and another one is from Wet n Wild. And from LA Girl I'm going to use lipstick called Last Night. It is a gorgeous color, you see that? I love this color, it's such a beautiful rose color. So this is going to go on my lips.
obviously it's, you know, this lip is not an everyday lip color. Next I'm going to use from Wet n Wild which is called 505A. You guys have to see this lipstick. OMG. OMG is in that amazing color. That is, that is a crazy color lipstick. And that's gonna go on top of this. This is a crazy lip color, I know it, but it's so pretty. This has a beautiful rosy color, you know, to the lips. So yeah guys, that's the tutorial. Hope you guys like the look and for more pictures and product information, you can check my blog. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.